One day, a very old lady was walking through the forest. She was walking very slowly because she was very, very old. She was walking through the forest, looking up and down and from side to side. She would walk over to one of the trees. She would look up and say, no. She would walk to the next tree. She would look up and she would say, no. She would walk to the next tree. She would look up and she would say, yes. Because here before her was the great big apple tree. And this very old lady would take out her basket. She would place it on the ground and very carefully she would pick 10 apples from the tree. One, ba -doing, two, ba -doing, three, ba -doing, four, ba -doing. I'm very old, this will take a long time, so I'll do it a little bit faster. Five ba -doing, six ba -doing, seven ba -doing, eight ba -doing, nine ba -doing, ten ba -doing. <laughs> Otherwise you're waiting for a long time. <laughs> She would then lift up the basket and take her very, very slow walk back home. Those listening to the story, amuse yourself while she just takes her slow walk home. Usually will take her 45 minutes, so just talk amongst your friends. Now when she finally arrived home, she would overturned the basket and watched as the apples scattered themselves across her table. She would then wash her hands, put on a little hairnet and an apron. And she would say, oh, now I'm going to make my delicious famous apple pie. Oh, I can't wait. She would take some knives and she would start chopping the apples when she had sliced all of the ten apples, she would lay them down in a big ceramic bowl. She would sprinkle some sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and then she would start to roll out the pastry. Now she would roll out the pastry in the style of the great Tina Turner. Rolling, rolling, rolling out the pastry, rolling out the pastry, rolling, rolling, rolling out the pastry, rolling out the pastry. <laughs> when it was rolled, she would place it over the apple, she would open the oven, she would pop it inside and she would close it, turning it up to the fullest heat. As she sat and watched, she would sing a song for the great Donna Summer. I'm cooking up a hot pie in the oven. I'm cooking up a hot pie in the oven. Hot pie in the oven, hot pie in the oven. When she heard the ding, she would open the oven and take a big sniff of that apple pie. <sighs> And she would reach in her hands to lift it up, but it was very hot. She would take an old tea towel, she would wrap it around and say, I'll leave this one on the window to cool down and then I'll eat it later. She would walk slowly over to the window, place the apple pie right there and go back inside to watch some television. Now, unbeknownst to this old lady, flying around outside of the house was a big crow. And this crow was hungry. He was flying around up and down and left and right looking for something to eat. He spotted something. 
a big delicious apple pie cooling on the window of the old lady's house. Very carefully, very quietly, he flew down, opened his beak, snatched up the apple pie and flew back to the top of his tree. Now the apple pie was still hot, so he couldn't swallow it. He just kept it there in his beak. When the old lady had finished watching her television programs, she walked over to the window and noticed that the apple pie was gone. She went outside and she looked everywhere until she heard laughing high up in the tree. She was not impressed. She called to the crow, oh, give it back, give it back, give it back. But the crow just said no. She was about to go back inside, but then she had an idea. She said, Crow, I've heard that you are a very good singer. One of the best, in fact. Somebody told me that you sound like Cheryl Crow, that singer from the 90s that nobody talks about anymore. Perhaps you could sing me a song, but not one of hers, because the storyteller doesn't know any of her songs. So sing another one. The crow was very flattered by this, and he said, mm. And the old lady said, but when you sing, crow, open your beak nice and wide and sing nice and loud. As the crow reached the high note, his beak opened wide and the pie flew out. It flew through the sky and started to fall down to the ground. The old lady saw it and in slow motion she leapt into the air. She pulled up her stockings and she jumped as if she were James Bond herself, all in slow motion. Mm, that's my apple pie. And she rushed back into her house. As fast as she could, she was still very old. She went inside and she slammed the door. The crow stayed up there singing many more of Celine Dion's hits until the day turned to the night and he realized that the old lady was gone. When he looked down at her house through her now closed window, he saw her sitting on the sofa with a great big bowl of apple pie and ice cream and she was smiling. Mm.